Galileo defined speed as distance traveled per unit time, as in miles per hour or mph. Globe heads refer to Earth's decimal 00069 revolutions per minute or RPM as speed. They love to refer to Earth's RPM as angular velocity. But this is just another term for RPM. We will destroy the globe heads with an onion, an orange, a slice of pizza, and an amusement park ride. The center of fake globe has the slowest speed, exactly like the hour hand on your watch. The speed at the equator on the surface of fake globe is 1,000 miles per hour or 5 football fields per second. Our RPM is the same at every point. It tells you nothing about speed. Our RPM is a useless parameter. As the onion rings get bigger, more distance is traveled in the same amount of time. Angular velocity is just a descriptive term for the wedge shapes formed by partial revolutions. This slice of pizza represents a partial revolution of the hour hand on a watch as it goes from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Since all points on the hour hand travel together, the point furthest away from the center represented by the crust, goes faster than any other point, because it covers the greatest distance. The slice is a pepperoni. On this lovely pepperoni and cheese pizza, have the same radius as a watch. The radius of a watch is less than one inch. The distance between two and four o'clock is less than one inch. Therefore, it would seem to take forever to move along the outer edge of a typical pepperoni watch. This is also the case at or near the center of fake globe Earth but not at the outer edge. This pepperoni and cheese pizza slice depicts a partial revolution of fake globe Earth. The outer edge of the crust represents the distance traveled along the equator after one and a half hours. The equatorial radius of fake globe Earth is almost 4,000 miles. And the distance traveled in this example is about 3,000 miles along the outer edge. In order for a point on the equator of fake globe Earth to keep up with a point on the hour hand, it must travel over 1,000 miles per hour, all day, every day. You would definitely notice, if you were riding on a giant hour hand, traveling over 1,000 miles per hour. That is equivalent to 5 football fields per second, 24 hours a day, every day, for life. It gets worse for globe heads when we discuss fake geostationary satellites. 
They are much further away from the center of fake globe Earth than the surface of the equator. Fake geostationary satellites travel at 30 football fields per second in order to keep pace with the hour hand of a watch or fake globe Earth's rotation. That's almost 7,000 miles per hour. But you would feel perfectly still. According to the globe head religion, Fly Earth is a runaway train, nothing can stop it. That shit crazy Looney Tunes globe heads are filling the insane asylums, as all the dominoes of their religion have now fallen.